a kid with a dream. We wanted to be, you know, uh, in front of the spotlight. And I think uh, a lot of that uh, came from when we were young. I'm just here. Okay. One. Two. Two. Three. three. On. Where did he go? He chased one goal relentlessly. Like, he always wanted to stand out. Always wanted to, and, and whatever he did, he always wanted to succeed. Through struggles. His mom was always working. You know, constantly working, you know, struggling. You know, as a single mom, paying bills. She had her hands full, that's for sure. Setbacks. He didn't even have that much to start with, you know what I mean? But for what he had and what he made use of, it was like you knew that he had that drive. You knew that he loved to do what he did. And rejections. Like, oh, why are you doing that? Or get a, get a real job. A DJ. I call him DJ Rip. Some of his friends apparently call him DJ Rippy Poo. He's in the studio right now. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little tired, but I'm good. A producer. You know, you can rap. You can make albums. You can shoot videos all day. But if you're not branding yourself, then really, what are you doing? And that, that's what Rip's doing. A recording artist. This is B96, Julian on the radio. We got my boy Rip right now, live in the studio. A story riddled with tragedy. Oh, yeah. When an unknown assailant gunned down his vehicle on the 1600 block of Van Buren Street. It is still unknown as to the motives of the shooting. And disappointments. Now you're not going to get an independent record played on uh, commercial radio. An Illinois boy's journey from nothing. Study of Chicago street gangs reveals how much the problem has spread to the suburbs. Thousands of gang members have been tracked to walk Keegan to something. Where's all my sexy ladies? Make some noise. <laughs> Never before seen images and stories from the people who know his story. Sometimes we get in some fights, uh, or there's a couple holes in the walls, uh, punches in the doors, let's be honest. Because they were right there with him. I don't feel that Josh is driven by money. I don't feel that he's driven to do this because he wants to make a whole lot of money. This is the story of Rip. <laughs> This is the making of a sellout. All this and more coming this fall.